So this is my attempt at building a SR-71 Blackbird. It was really a difficult build. There's so many flatness to the, uh, to the overall design of the Blackbird, which was very hard to uh, build utilizing Legos. It mostly needed to be plates, and I don't have that many plates, so this worked out pretty fairly well. Um, it's not my best build, but it's pretty good. So let's check out how I built it. The SR-71 Jet. Blackbird. <clears throat> okay, so it cost $34 million. So now, let's put five minutes on the clock. We're gonna build the Blackbird in less than five minutes of time. So let's get started. Okay. So Blackbird, should we use black? Yeah, probably. But we don't have that many pieces. The black, many pieces. Black pieces. Ah, oh, geez, I can't talk this morning. So we are gonna have to find a way <clears throat> to build a Blackbird out of that, that many pieces. Maybe we'll go small with it. Maybe we'll go like micro scale with it and not the common scale that I've been utilizing lately. Um, yeah, maybe we'll go super small. I mean, it's a very flat plane. Very flat. It's got the engine stick up and the cockpit st sticks up and that's about it. And it's a very long plane. Um, very, very long plane. Hmm. Maybe I use some browns. Let's bring some browns forward here. I need a slant nose. Very pointy nose. Maybe this red. We just use that for the F twenty two uh F fourteen. <clears throat> when we built the F fourteen. So I'm not too happy with red. I think that's a bad color to start with. Let's see what else we can find. Slant pieces. So we have these dark green ones. Do we have another set like that? And these light green ones. That's a pretty good shape that's a pretty good shape of the the front I, I don't like the color though again we only are utilizing this classic kit and the reason is that way you know anybody can play along that's the whole point of only being restrictive as to how many how many parts we use is i want to make sure that anybody and everybody can play along at home and uh enjoy being part of this this build buildathon, if you will. So we are we got a front, okay, and now we got to figure out how we're going to integrate more pieces. Again, like I said, it's a very flat plane. So I'm utilizing parts that I probably need later on. Very flat, long plane. I'm wondering if it's gonna have to be multicolored. Let's just lay out the shape first. Okay. Because the the engines are the most critical part. That's what gives the shape look to the Blackbird itself. So if we did something like that, and then use these up front, bubbled up maybe. Like that. Yeah, that's not bad. And then need some dark, one by fours underneath. 
Now the funny thing is, is it's got tail, but the tails are over the engines and they slant inwards, which is very funny looking. So something like that, we're getting the general shape and then we'll do the bottom side next, okay? So something like this. There we go. So maybe Yeah. Okay. Like that. Get the wings going. Did we already run out of time? I think we did. Well, I'm gonna continue on anyways until we get the level that I like. That's surprising, that snuck up on me. I've been really thinking about how the overall shape looks and now all of a sudden now I'm out of time. That's surprising. Something like that. Flashing? I feel like the light's flashing at me. So let's do this here. That there. This there. That there. So now I gotta get an underplate like this one. Plate there. Maybe these wings go back one. And maybe is there a way to beef that up? Yeah. There is. We're gonna use the dots. Ooh, maybe, maybe instead of those large ones, we're going to do something smaller. Yeah, that works. Do I have two of those? Two of the black cones? I'm pretty sure I do. Do I just have the one? Oh, that, that ruins the look. So we're going to go back to this. Where'd the other one go? All right. The cockpit is way too big. I mean, it's just a tiny microscopic looking thing. So maybe if I did something like this. Because the plane is really large in comparison to the size of the cockpit. So maybe, maybe going like this is going to be more advantageous. Like that. And another one. Like that. Yeah, that's more sleek, and that's the look that you want for the Blackbird. Now, the coloring is not the best, like I said, but I think it does okay. I think the... You know, if we were to beef this up a little higher... No. I like it. That is a 
SR-71, I think is the name that they called it. The Blackbird. The fastest, I, I believe it still holds the record for being the fastest fighter jet or bomber jet out there. Um, super high elevation. They used spacesuits and the it used to leak oil when it was on the ground. And the reason is, is this was built so that it could last when it was up in the air and going supersonic speeds really high in the air and everything kind of shrinks up. So <clears throat> it actually leaked when it was on the ground and then the clearances closed up when it was flying. So very cool. Again, if you want to play along with us, make sure to pick up this Lego kit right here. This is the classic Lego kit. It is set number 10692. So if you want to play along, that's the kit we're utilizing uh, for all these builds that we do here. All the five man builds are utilizing that kit. So thanks everybody for watching. Let's tune in to find out what we're going to do next. Well, that was a cool build. Now let's spin the wheel and find out what we're going to build tomorrow. Again, this whole month is aviation month and we're going to wrap it up here in just a couple days. And today, tomorrow's build is going to be an F-22 Raptor. So we got to build a Raptor. Very similar, probably going to look to the Tomcat, but we'll see. So an F-22 Raptor we're going to build tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications of when our next videos come out and if you want to put a idea on the wall or a theme just leave it in the suggestions down below and let us know what we should build next thanks everybody for watching we'll see you next time bye bye <laughs>